Okay, this video is going to cover the differences between um, PNG files, one with a transparent background and one without, and how that affects uh, tracing. So I'm going to import two different PNG files, and when you do this, use File Import, not File Place Image. Use File Import, and then I'm going to select uh, one that I know does not have a transparent background. So I have this one selected, and then uh, let's let me pop out the Layers panel. By the way, that's worth the upgrade to uh, Scale 5 is just to have this ability that I can pop out all of these panels and then, especially when I make videos because now then they're close to where the image is. Okay, so when I bring out the layers panel, you can see this grouped. And then when I open up that group, there's two layers there. One is the cut layer and one is the print layer. Now then I'm going to uh, go ahead and hide the print layer. And you'll see that I don't see anything, but when I select the cut layer, then I do. And you can see right now it's a rectangle. And if I go ahead and come over here to the fill and stroke panel and uh, turn on color, then I'm able to actually see what will cut, which is just a rectangle, which means it didn't have a transparent background. So in that case, I would have to trace this one. And I'll do that in just a minute and show you how easy it is to actually go ahead and trace this uh, particular image. So let's hide that one and then uh, or close that, uh, that panel or group. Now then I'm going to import one that has a transparent background. So I'm going to go to File, Import, and let's select this cute crab here. All right, and it now then I have it present, and then when I open up this group folder and I select the cut layer, and then I come over and I uh, basically change the stroke to a color on it, and then hide the print layer. Now then you can see that that's you know that that's great. The cut layer is already there because you know because it has a transparent background. Um, Scal will just basically put in a cut line between anything that's transparent and wherever there's a pixel. So. That's great, right? You've got that all set. So now then, um, and then one more thing I want to show you about this, uh, you know, something in Scal that a lot of people don't realize. When you, when this is set, now I'm going to come over here and open this one again. This cut layer, let's look at the style panel. On the style panel, it says cut here. Now, when you have any layer assigned to cut, it is going, for a print and cut project, it's going to print that layer and it's going to cut that layer out. And sometimes you want that to happen. In a case like this, you don't. You don't want this to print, which is one of the reasons why the stroke was set to none and the fill was set to none. And you can leave it that way and then you don't have to worry about it printing because there's nothing there to print. But one of the things that's uh, kind of powerful in Shortcuts a lot, one of the things I really like, is that you can assign any single layer. When you're doing a print and cut project, you can assign it. You can leave it as cut and it will print and cut. Or on the style panel, you can come down and there's two choices. One's called print plus cut cut and one's called print plus cut print. And that seems kind of confusing at first, but just think of it the first thing. The print plus cut means print and cut project, okay? So in that case, if I set that to print plus cut cut, that means that layer will never be printed. It will only be cut. And then similarly, if I come over and I turn back on my print layer, it is already set, and it does this automatic, scale does this automatically, but it's always good to check. It sets it to print plus cut print, which means it'll never try to cut. Okay, so, you know, if there were something around it that you didn't want, don't worry about it, okay? It's only going to ever print. So, very uh, powerful uh, feature there in Shortcuts a lot that I really love. Now, I'm sure other programs have it too, but I worked with Make the Cut for years and it didn't have that capability. So, you're always having to try to, you know, check everything. Turn, you'd have to hide layers and then bring them back and stuff, you know, uh, after you printed. Then you'd, you know, like basically have to hide the, cut, the, the print layer so it wouldn't cut. It was very confusing. So, anyway, um, now that on the Cartoon Bird, as I mentioned before, it's going to basically come in the same way. Well, you don't want this cut layer because it's just a rectangle, right? So you can just delete that because you'll probably never use it. So I can just delete that layer. Then I can take this print layer, click on trace at the top. Okay. And then here's the trace layer. And then this is something, of course, you know, there's a lot to understanding all these settings. And I recommend, you know, you go through the user manual or if you've bought the SCAL 5 video classroom, you can go through, you know, all the videos that I've made on various, you know, how all these settings affect your trace. And I'm not going to do that in this video. I'm just going to show you basically one of the things I do. Now I scroll this down because I already know what the image looks like. And I scroll down and this shows me what's going to cut. Well, I don't want, you know, anything that's red is going to cut. And of course, I don't want all those little pieces in there. I also don't want to cut out the eyes most of the time for print because I just want to cut the outside. So very easily you can click on blackout, this blackout option right here, update preview. And this is what's going to cut, just the outside. And that's how easy it can be. Now if I had 
brought in that image using choose an image, then I would need to click on add image layer so that it brings in both the cut line and this original trace image. But since I already have the image, you know, over here on my cutting mat, then I don't have to, you know, I don't have to mark that uh, particular option right here. And I can just go ahead and click on OK. And it'll ask me if I want to continue tracing. I don't, so I say no. And now then, there is uh, that particular layer that's going to cut. So this one again, with it selected, now right now, it would try to cut print and cut. So I change that to print plus cut, cut. All right, and then if I don't want to see it, then I can just drag it all the way down here to the left, and now then it's uh, you know basically it's hidden. So you can go ahead and do that too, and you know you you know you could leave this at cut because it's hidden by the image, you know supposedly. But again, it's kind of one of those practices I've gotten into where I check every layer and I say, yep, this one's only going to cut, this one's only going to print, and maybe I've got another one that I want to print and cut. So very handy. So anyway, I think that covers it. And uh, as always, if you have any questions, please let me know. And also don't forget that uh, Sure Cuts A Lot 5 Classroom at ScrappyDoo.com offers over 150 videos and over 10 hours of training to make you a master of Sure Cuts A Lot.